And that's the latest on the weather this morning. Meanwhile, in the process of voicing their comments on social matters, bloggers should know how to establish their identity on the internet. Here are the highlights of the 9th Philippine Blogging Summit. Blogs or weblogs have recently become regular fixtures in the news, but they have also become more difficult to control than print or broadcast media. This is one of the main agenda behind iBlog9, the 9th Philippine Blogging Summit, which was recently held at the Malcolm Theater of AUP College of Law. Event organizer Janet Toral says bloggers should regard themselves as digital influencers as she discussed what they can do to build a unique identity for themselves and focus on what they want to achieve in the long term. We're also tackling a lot of the new developments in the country uh, in terms of how blogging is uh, affecting internet users, how it is affecting bloggers, like we're talking about how data privacy affects bloggers. We're also talking about how video blogging is uh, changing now, especially with the uh, incentives and the monetization program. Open for bloggers, internet marketers, mommy bloggers, online entrepreneurs, and those who want to make the most out of their blogs. The summit taught individuals how to use blogs as powerful marketing tools and how to eventually polish their online presence. Rado Favino will tell us more about video blogging. So how do you start up your own website? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, when it comes to video blogging, actually, you really don't need your own website because there's a, already a ready platform, like, for example, the YouTube, Vimeo, and from there, you just need to have your own webcam, mobile, or just your digital, digital camera. There. What are the challenges that you encounter when you do this? Uh, actually, it's the conceptualization and the creativity on how you build your content. Because uh, people watch your video because of your content. Attorney J.G. Bicini, the first lawyer member of the Philippine Internet Commerce Society, recognized that bloggers do not only produce content, but also build social relations with their readers and other bloggers. However, since majority of blogs are interactive and allow visitors to leave comments and even message each other, he cautioned bloggers about maintaining their websites. As a, as a user, well, madaming, ano, madaming mga practices uh, and things that happen to you as a blogger. No? Uh, for example, uh, mga housekeeping that you need to do on your site kasi kuminsan yung comment section, pinapasukan niya ng mga, ano, ng mga spam. So you need to make sure that uh, you, you flush that out of your system. Uh, and sometimes you need to moderate also yung discussion kasi you post a, a blog post and then yung comment, sa comment section nag-aaway na yung mga tao. The talk tackled not just how to tap the blogging market, but also covered the legal issues involved in the process. This is Pat Fernandez for Solar News.